फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स फॉर यू फ्रेंड्स दोज हु आर न्यू टू अवर चैनल प्लीज वॉच अवर दिस प्ले लिस्ट विच इज ऑफ कंट्रोल सिस्टम द फर्स्ट वन इज इन इंग्लिश एंड अनदर वन इज इन हिंदी आई एम कवरिंग डिफरेंट प्रॉब्लम्स इन हिंदी एज वेल एज इंग्लिश सो इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड हिंदी प्लीज वॉच अवर वीडियोज now let us see this problem here we have to reduce this diagram to a single block by using block diagram reduction technique so basically the rules of a block diagram reduction technique uh, tells that if you can solve series block parallel blocks or feedback loop first then solve it so once uh, looking at this diagram look at this this is a block diagram which looks like that it has a feedback loop but note here that this branch is connected here means this take off point is in between summing point and this block therefore it is not a feedback loop and therefore we can't solve it so further look at this so you can observe here that this g3 and h3 are actually a feedback loop and it is a special that is a separate feedback loop so we can use our rule to solve this but note here that this block is also connected to this point and therefore to simplify it what we will do we we'll split this uh, summing point into two summing points so as to reduce the connection and uh, so as to avoid the further complications therefore what i am doing here i am splitting the summing point and i am just connecting this summing point here so you will draw a special block diagram separate block diagram for this and you will connect this one like that so this is our step number 1 that splitting a summing point now you can see that this g3 and h3 are connected in a feedback loop and as per the rule of food, uh, feedback elimination so our step number 2 is eliminating feedback loop so this formula will be g divided by 1 as negative feedback is there there is positive sign 1 plus gh now instead of g there is g3 and for h it is h3 so this block is reduced to a single block which is having transfer function as G three over one plus G three H three. So after step number two, we'll get this one. Now, again look at the diagram. Further, we can't directly connect, uh, directly solve any of the first three rules that is series block, parallel block, or feedback loop, and therefore. further what we will do we will either shift a take off point or a summing point this is general generally the next rule uh, that uh, we can apply here so ne in next step i will shift this take off point this take off point after the block means i will bring this take off point here in our next step and if we shift a take off point after a block what will happen this branch will be divided by the transfer function of this branch will be divided by this block now the transfer function of this block is 1 because nothing is connected here so unity uh, tra uh, it has unity transfer function and it is divided by g2 and therefore if we shift this take off point to this point that i am doing here i am shifting this take off point to here and therefore after solving this block we will get transfer function as 1 upon g2 because it has an unity feedback so this is our next change that will happen here 
Now after this step, the next step is to solve this block because further you can see that this block is connected in parallel and therefore parallel means as summing point is after this there is no point connected uh, so it has a transfer function as 1 1 plus 1 upon z2 will be the further its, uh, its solution 1 plus 1 upon g2 block will be connected to this point so after solving this we will get 1 plus 1 upon g2 1 plus 1 upon g2 which is connected here so after solving this step we will get block diagram like this now you can easily see that this block and this block they are connected in cascade and if you want to solve it you can solve it or further again one change is there that g2 and h2 these are also connected here and it is connected in feedback loop so better way is to solve this step further this step and a feedback loop and further you can solve it into you can convert it into a single series block and further solve it therefore uh, i am in next step my next step will be el eliminating feedback loop again negative feedback is there and uh, g is nothing but g2 divided by 1 plus g2 h2 this is the formula that we will use and thus i will convert this feedback loop into a single block in our step so after solving this step we will get now in next step we can see that this g1 and g2 block these are in cascade so first we will solve this block so our next step is to solving block uh, solving blocks in cascade and if the blocks are in cascade the resultant is multiplication of their transfer function and therefore it will be converted into a single block that is g1 multiplied by z2 and this block will also be converted into a single block and now again you can see that this block and this h1 is a feedback forms a feedback loop and therefore our next step is solving a feedback loop or eliminating a feedback loop now this is our g and this is our h again the rule is that g divided by 1 plus g h and therefore its transfer function is equal to g here g is g1 z2 divided by 1 plus g2 h2 and h is sorry 1 plus g is again g1 g2 divided by 1 plus g2 h2 multiplied by h h is nothing but h1 so just simplify it and write the transfer function over here so after simplification we will get g1 g2 in numerator divided by 1 plus g2 h2 plus g1 g2 h1 in denominator so the transfer function of this block that is i am highlighting the transfer function of this block is this one and we will replace this whole system with single block after reducing this feedback loop our uh, our diagram will be converted into this diagram that is g1 g2 upon 1 plus g2 h2 plus g1 g2 h1 this is the transfer function of the previous block diagram uh, that is previous uh, feedback loop that we have eliminated now uh, just uh, the only change that i will do will be here that uh, i will multiply this one with this g g2 and uh, will convert it into a single denominator and single numerators function so it is 1 plus g2 in numerator divided by z2 and this is the last block now you can easily see that these blocks are connected in cascade so our next step is solving blocks in cascade if the blocks are in cascade 
the resultant will be the multiplication of transfer functions of all these three and uh, so the resultant block will having transfer function as g1 g2 then 1 plus g2 g3 is there over 1 plus g2 h2 plus g1 g2 h1 multiplied by g2 multiplied by 1 plus g3 h3 note here that all these terms are multiplied by, uh, with each other so this g2 and this g2 will cancel and the final answer is uh, having a transfer function as g1 g3 multiplied by this term and g1 g2 g3 so in numerator you will get g1 g3 in one bracket plus g1 g3 will multiply this g2 so g1 g2 g3 here and in denominator we will just write here this two blocks that is 1 plus g2 h2 plus g1 g2 h2 in one bracket and 1 plus g3 h3 in another bracket and just write there this here so as to convert it into single block so the final answer will be so this is our final answer just write this uh, transfer function into this block and thus we will get this uh, thus we have converted this block diagram into a single block thank you and friends if you like this video please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for notification and like, comment and share. Thank you.